Hello everyone, this is Iftikhar once again from iftikhar.us. Today in this video tutorial, I will show you how to add Facebook comment system on your site. First, I will show you how to create the app and then I will show you how to implement the comment system on your HTML page and then later on I will focus on WordPress, how exactly can implement the comment system on WordPress platform. The first thing you need to do is to log into the Facebook. I'm already logged in with my account. So once you are logged in, go to developers.facebook.com and from here, click on My Apps and create Add a New App. Click on Add a New App. Okay, from here, since we are making this app for our website, we will click on Website. And from here, skip and create an app ID. I already have quite a few app uh, created for different websites, so I will create one, another one from the very beginning or from scratch. So let's type it ftcore.us comments. That's the name of my app, or at least that's the way I want it to be. I wanted this app to be, and no we do not want this app to be a test app and from here you can pretty much select any category you want since uh, my website is about technology mostly uh, let's see what we can do from here okay let's select education you can select pretty much whatever the category you like and then create app ID start fireworks okay that's a security question actually so click yes fireworks yes fireworks yes no yes yes no mm, that's not a fireworks okay no 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 okay so we already have so we basically created just created a new app this is the same way you can create your app for uh, your website or the comment system that you are about to implement on your site now let's click on settings and from here you can see it says app domain name even though I will show you how to add that on my local computer on my local server um, you basically have to type the domain name so for the time being I'm just gonna type my domain name and the contact email would be that's my email address save changes what it does it say okay so secure campus okay we will take a look at it a little later uh, this must be derived from secure canvas URL unity binary URL site URL mobile site URL okay so let's get rid of that see what it does happen let's cancel save changes okay that looks okay status and review um, over here we have do you want to make this app and all its live features available to general public of course we want it so let's click on yes yes confirm okay so roles now this is very important thing since you want to have a um, comment system on your side you also want to make sure that you yourself or your ID to be selected as an administrator by default it would be added as uh, your ID but definitely if you want you can add developers or testers if you want you can add that one as well but for the time being we will keep it the way it is most probably that should be your um, Facebook ID as well as an administrator for the app from here we will go to docs and click on social plugin scroll down and from here we will click on comments these are some of the social plugins available but we will click on comments now from here you can see this is an URL where exactly uh, you can post or type the comment so for basically uh, basically for every single HTML page you have you have to manipulate this URL by yourself 
this is one of the benefit of having a PHP or CMS driven website where we can simply use a PHP function that will change the URL for every single page automatically but for the timing let's keep it like that and we make the width like let's make it 300 pixel for testing purpose you can select the number of posts that you want to be visible you can change it by yourself and we want to keep it light or dark now I think I will like the dark uh, lighter one let's make it actually 600 it looks a lot better that way yeah I think 600 looks better now let's click on get code now from here you can see we selected or it's it's already selected actually by default it's my uh, app that we just created but if you have multiple apps you might see it something like that but simply select the app that you just created from here and we will select HTML5 instead of iframe or XFBML. This is kind of old if I'm not wrong, but HTML5 seems to be the latest version, or at least that's what I know. And from here, you can see this is the app ID for our application that we just created. Now, what we have to do, as it says, include the JavaScript SDK on your page once, ideally right after the opening body tag. So, what we will do, copy this code. And I already have my HTML editor or basic HTML page over here. So right after the body tag, I will paste that code. Okay, this is one thing. And let's minimize this. Then it says, pl place the code of your plugin wherever you want the plugin to appear on your page. For testing purpose, I will copy the entire code on the same page at the bottom of right before the body because we already have content for this page let's take a look at the page actually I think that would make a whole lot easier for you to understand what exactly we're talking about here exam control let's run Apache only that will do okay HT docs from here FB okay so we can easily type local host FB so this is the page that we are looking at. This is the same page that I have over here in on my Notepad++ editor. Let's paste this code. Now you can see the URL data href or the data href is basically showing Facebook URL. This is where you have to be tricky and have to put your very own HTML file URL. In my case, this is HTTP local localhost fb forward slash index dot html now save this url and i will show you how how you can add that one for wordpress a little later but for html pages this is how you have to do it make sure you change the localhost with your domain name and the appropriate url that you have to add over here for every single html page so let's refresh this as you can see this Facebook page or this page shows the Facebook comment system this is pretty much the basic or very simple way of adding Facebook comment system on your HTML pages now we will go back to my site which is built on or I built I made that site on WordPress platform and show you how exactly this will work on WordPress platform now let's go back to one of my blog posts as you can see I wrote a blog post on February 14th on Valentine's Day now you can see the comment system over here because I actually got rid of the previous comment system that I had now what I have to do log into my WordPress site go to the dashboard from once you do login it will go back to the dashboard and from here go to appearance and then go to editor select your header file because most probably that will be the place where you will find your body tag this is where I see my body tag so what I have to do is copy the entire code from here and paste it right after the body tag starts from here okay and update this page now remember I was I was showing you one of my blog posts this is a blog post not my articles so blog post basically is your single dot PHP page this is where exactly you need to place your uh, rest of the code for the form to appear this is the code so let's copy this and let's click on single dot PHP file 
And from here, you can see there was a block that I left it empty so that I can place the code for common system to appear. Now, this is the code and that's it, you are done. Now, as I mentioned over here, when I was copying the code, I was telling you that there was an PHP function that we can actually place to make it dynamic for every single page or every single blog post, it will appear automatically. So the line is PHP the permalink function semicolon close. That's it. We are done. Okay. I want to make it a little bigger. Uh, you can also change the number from here. That should be all you need to do. So simply update the file and go back to your page, refresh the page. Here we go. You can see the comment section over here, the comment system actually. So the form is available and you can start writing um, you can start making comments and you can allow people to make comments over here. Now one thing that we need to uh, confirm, like let's take a look at another blog post. I want to make sure that it shows up for every single blog post page. Now as you can see over here, I already have my um, meta property. This is what you have to do. This is the tag that you need to place and you can see that this app ID is not the correct one. It's not actual app ID is this one so we what we have to do is copy this app ID and then replace it with the new one and you can easily find your Facebook account ID number uh, there was a website called find my Facebook I Facebook ID .com. just simply go to your Facebook account and take a look at the URL, go to your profile, take a look at the URL, copy the URL and place it over here and look up the numeric ID. This is my ID as you can see at the end I have 383 this is same as the 383 just in case at some point down the line if you don't find this website find my Facebook ID.com you can easily go back to your profile select your name or just simply hover your cursor on the top of your name and click on inspect element. Now if you take a look at a whole bunch of codes is showing up over here just scroll a little up and you can see there is a line over here it, sh it says profile underscore owner and there is a big number numerical number this is your Facebook profile ID this is the one you need I just wanted to make your life a lot easier that's why I was asking you or requesting you to go to Facebook, uh, find my Facebook ID.com maybe that will be the easiest way to find your ID but just in case uh, if this size site doesn't exist by the time you were watching this video you can easily find your ID like this inspect your element and from here just simply take a look at this number it's just like a couple of lines before uh, your name appears over here so simply click this ID and that should be okay now since we updated the Facebook app ID number and my profile ID number let's update this file that's supposed to be on your header.php file thank you very much for watching this video and also try it out let me know uh, how does it work and if there is any problem feel free to make a comment from the uh, from the comment section below and I will definitely get back to you don't forget to subscribe my channel. I see you in next video. Bye-bye.